All righty, we're ready for step two, box modeling our truck out. So well, without further ado, let's get into it. Go to File, Open, Navigate to your Tutorial Disk Folder, open the main folder, and then we want to open up step two, box modeling body. Open. You can see it opens up. And what we're going to do here is go to Attributes. We're going to change the segment X to 2, segment Y to 2, 3 segments, and then the segment Z to 9. There we go. Now we want to open this up right here. I'm going to take the cube and unhighlight that right there so that it will render for us. Select the cube and push edit. Go ahead and name this to level 1. There we go. Go up here to objects, add a null object so that it's in the zero section. Go ahead and name this levels. Enter and hide it right there. Go ahead and select that, copy, paste it, downsize it, save. Okay. Now we want to make it editable, and we want to select the Rectangle Selection Tool, go to Attributes, Unselect, Only Select Visible Elements. Let's go to F3, and you can see that we're in the side view. Make sure you have the Rectangle Select Tool. Let's grab the bottom row of points, pull up to the bottom of the truck, now select the top three point rows and pull it to about right there where it lines up with that center line of the truck. And then go to the next row, two rows towards the top, put it to the top of the tire well right there. Then select the top row and bring it down to the top of the bed of the truck, about center, I would say about to right there because we're going to extrude that later on the cover of the bed. So now let's go to the front of the truck. Let's line these point lines up. Line it to about right there. Go ahead and pull this point down to about right there. Pull it back a little bit because we've got a slope here on the front. Then go ahead and pull this back here to the line right there of the tire well. Pull these over too. It's right there where they line up with the mesh. Reference image. There we go. Perfect. Do the same here for this one. Pull it over here to the middle. Let's keep it straight for right now. Pull this line of points over here to this point right here. Pull these back to here. And just watch me work now. And let's pull this here. There we go. And we'll add a cut later on here for that, so don't worry about that. This one's going to be the, this row of points are going to divide the cab from the bed. Let's get back to it. Pull this over here. And this one over here. This one over a little bit. Center this one with the tire well. There we go. And if I'm going fast, I apologize. I'll try to slow down. Pull these over. And these over. Grab this one on the back point. Or the back part of the truck. Pull it up. There we go. Now we have that shape of the truck so far. Let's go to top view. And let's go grab all these points and pull them where they line up with the front right here. Not the extrude part where we're going to extrude later on or make those parts. We just want to line it up with that right there. And also just go here and take this one and move it just a little bit out, just a tiny bit. There we go. Now let's swing the mesh around because this is going to be the front of our truck over here. And let's save again. 
And what we're going to do next is we're going to extrude the cab. So go to polygon mode or poly mode and select this tool, select these two polys right here and extrude. Go to F3 side view. Go here and go ahead and pull it up a little bit like this, wherever you want to. Loop selection, go to point mode. Let's pull these back here like this and they're going to come back where it lines up with this line right here so that we get this straight. Do the same here. Pull up where it lines up right here with the side piece right here, not that back piece. Okay, we've got that pretty good, that pretty good. There we go. So we've got a basic shape so far. Let's go to the front view and line these points up. So select these and these. Scale tool. Scale it into about right there. And go down to the bottom. Select those. Select those. And scale in like that. There we go. Got that pretty good. Go to the front view. Select these and these points and scale them in to where they're about right there. Actually, let's bring them into about right there because we're going to move that up as we get into it. So let's, let's bring it in right about there. There we go. <coughs> okay. Now, next what we're going to do is go to polygon mode or poly mode, your selection tool, and we're only going to work on this side of the truck here. So I may not do the same thing on the other side, but sometimes I will. Let's go to the bottom of the truck, select all the bottom polygons or polys, whatever you want to call them. Delete them. Okay. Let's select these four and these four and we're going to extrude the tire well or start the tire well or where the tires go so just extrude inward just a little tiny bit and then one more time extrude about that far go to your live selection tool hold the shift key and select these areas shift key again hold down and add those areas and push the good old delete button there we go. We're getting our basic shape of a truck. 